hello guys welcome to Ramta solutions today in our lesson of projectile motion we're looking at this example which we call exercise one for the purpose of our series on vertical projectile motion we are saying a stone is thrown vertically upwards and reaches a height of 10 meters so this height is basically a maximum height of course we will call it delta y which is 10 meters above the thrower's hand now question a says what was the initial velocity of the stone as it left the thrower's hand so before we do these calculations we will take our upwards motion as positive okay we'll take our upwards motion as a positive motion so the formula that we can use here I am aware that this is Delta Y therefore the implication is that velocity here is zero so final velocity is zero with this being said we can use the formula to calculate the initial velocity we will use the formula VF squared equals VI squared plus 2A Delta Y our final velocity which is velocity at maximum height is zero now what is our initial velocity we do not know our acceleration because we chose upwards as positive and we know gravity is a downwards motion it will be negative 9.8 what is our displacement it was 10 above the thrower's hand which is positive okay now Let's see, we have zero equals vi squared minus, I believe this is 98 times two, which is 196, I believe, I'm not sure. Two times 9,8 times 10. <clears throat> okay, this is minus 196. So vi squared equals 196, right? It is equal to 196. Therefore, VI is square root of 196. Of course, I must say plus minus. But because um, the stone was thrown vertically upwards, we can say it is positive 14 meters per second where upwards. Okay? Upwards. This is how you find your initial velocity now number B they say calculate the time taken for a stone to reach maximum height remember we're looking for Delta T already we have final velocity which we know to be 0 we have Delta Y which we know to be 10 and we just calculated initial velocity which was 14 meters per second I'm gonna say upwards indeed it was upwards so um, we need a formula that we can use any formula can work so I uh, will take maybe maybe let's take um, VF equals VI yeah let's take um, which one should I take I will take vf equals vi plus a delta t what is it our vf is again upwards as positive since i mentioned it in part a i don't have to continue uh, to continue mentioning it in part b so our final velocity is zero our initial velocity we said it was 14 and our acceleration which is a downwards motion will be negative right now what is our delta t maybe let's say 9,8 delta t equals 14 therefore delta t is 14 over 9,8 is 1,43 seconds right equals 1,43 seconds or you can use this formula here delta y equals vi delta t plus half a 
delta t squared. It should also give you the same answer we got here. Okay, it should also give you the same answer we got here. All right, guys, bye-bye.